Hello, I'm Cameron, and this is a wrap-up post for the Easter egg game that uh, we have just finished up this past week. And as some of you may know, we have a game that is revealed day by day, batter by batter, in scoreboard fashion on our site. And people uh, watch this thing progress, and they guess what game it may happen to be, and if they get it right, they get a fantastic prize. Um, this game is one that I really wish we never ever selected and uh, I guess I can blame myself but um, I didn't realize how much it was gonna hurt to relive it not only posting it but every day as it came popping back up so hopefully after this post I can cleanse myself of this and not think of it again until somebody brings it up anyway uh, this game is the 1996 World Series game number four between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Yankees. Now, I'm watching this game. I'm at my home. I remember this vividly with a very good friend of mine who is a very pragmatic kind of person. He had no particular passions for either the Yankees or the Braves, so therefore he was an objective observer. And we go through the game, and the Braves were up. 2-0 in the series coming to Atlanta. They lost the game the day before, so they were 2-1. Now, they were leading this game 6 to nothing through five innings. The Yankees got three in the sixth, and this went on that way until the eighth. Now, Mark Woolers comes in, and he was a flamethrower. He could throw the heat. And a fellow by the name of Jim Laritz steps in, and I think he came in as a defensive replacement. But he steps in the batter's box. I believe it was his first at bat. I'm not sure, but I believe it was. And he digs in, and Wollers fires fastballs at him, and he's late. Now, my buddy Paul is watching this game. Again, completely objective. I'm sitting here, on the other hand, with my um, – it's more of a, a – um, not a luck type thing or, or – you know, I guess it's a superstition. It's kind of like not to crossing the bats in the dugout or not stepping on the foul line when, uh, when you come off the field, that type of thing. But I don't want to get too up. I don't want to say anything. But uh, Paul's saying, man, he can't hit the fastball. Just throw him fastballs. Well, unfortunately, uh, Mark Wollers didn't hear us and proceeded to throw him a diet of sliders. Leritz fell off a couple. Then he hung one. And Jim proceeded to slap that baby over the wall and left field and tie the game up. Now the Yankees picked themselves up off the deck and to their credit came back and won that game. Won the next get next day's game and uh, so won three straight and it was it was close the following day it was uh, I think it was a one run ball game. Went back to New York and proceeded to win the following game and the World Series pennant. Um, good luck to you guys and the next game that pops up and uh, one little hint for you is it will not be a Braves game that tears the heart out of a Braves fan. I can assure you of that. So thanks for uh, logging on to Baseballisms, and good luck in the next Easter egg game.